So coming into this fight, I noticed you had hey, like Mario. Hey, Mario. Hey, man. Right, thank, you thank you, Mario. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I was just going to say, coming into this fight, I noticed a different mindset with you. You were kind of like pumped up at the weigh-in. Yeah. You were, uh, I, I, how do I say this? You weren't as social as you usually are. You were a little bit more intense. Were you different coming into this Oh, fight? definitely, man. This guy, he brought the best out of me, man. He, um, he gave me a stare down. He, put me, he tried to put me against the corner. And... Um, this is a fight. The best, the best fighters bring the best out of me, and I knew that that coming in, that was a big fight. So definitely, I was 100% focused. So you're two and zero against the the real big boy fighters when you fight these big guys. Yeah. Jeremy Ramos and this guy. Yeah. What is it about these big fighters and these big opportunities where you overperform or you perform to your best? Ah man, I, these big fighters, man, they bring the best out of me. They. Um, they, they they just bring the best out of me because I know that these guys are gonna test me and they're gonna take they're gonna take they're gonna take give me try to give me a first loss in front of my hometown crowd and my family I, I can't let that happen so it's definitely motivating for me. Talk about your hometown crowd. How much does it mean to fight so close to home? It's, it means a lot, man. It means a lot, um, and I know that pretty soon we're gonna be moving out to you know Los Angeles and Las Vegas. But um, this is a you know awesome opportunity to be able to fight here in my front of my belly and in front of awesome people here that you guys like you guys yourselves here. You know, and just it's just an honor to be honest. And you were getting that Jason Quigley work right before his fight yeah. with Glenn Tapia. How was that? And how did that prep you? Hey, you know what? I told myself I wanted to spar Jason quickly at least four to five sessions and to feel like in a point where I had it like he was giving me some of the tough work you know that I was giving trouble with and I feel like I had to overcome him a little bit more and I feel like in this camp I did that and I was able to land some strong shots on him and I gave him my confidence to boost it up but he's a hell of a fighter and definitely brought the best out of me and I think that's what really really helping helping here in this fight okay and finally um, just what can people expect moving forward for you I'm moving forward man uh, Next week, uh, get some rest and uh, maybe go up to New York, watch the fights up there. Um, and um, who you got for that fight? We got a break you know, that fight down for me. You know, Jacobs is training hella hard. He's training. He's been training like the best, and um, he's a hell of a fighter, man. He fought cancer. I mean, he's gonna give a, a great performance, and I know it's gonna be a close fight. But uh, Glovkin, I still see him pulling it out. I mean, he's had over 300 amateur fights, and he's had a tremendous professional career. So I still see I see him pulling it out. Maybe a, a decision. What's one, what's one stylistic uh, thing Golovkin does that you see that? you think Dane's gonna take advantage of? Uh, stylistically, he comes in, you know, a little bit. Just show, show the camera, he you know. know. He comes in here, not too much head movement, just real, come real strong, as you know, a lot of the European and Russian fighters come, and he's susceptible to some shots, so if, um, if he could, Jacobs could take his shots early, he'll give him a run for his money.